white. No. The sun? The crowd? No. See. Put on your costume. Put on your face. People pay to be here and they want to laugh. Redeem, Pagliaccio. Sutto amore in fronto. Redeem del dolce tico. Sapere il cuore. Are you a man? You are a clown. Non so più che il dico e che il faccio. Actable and delirious. Redeem, Pagliaccio. E ob non outlaudire. Laugh, clown. La commedia è finita. <laughs> this comedy is done. Seven thousand people were in attendance. The circus rings rose in great circles around the ring, a whirlpool of stilled faces. The very enactment of this was itself a testament to humanity. The easy, relaxed enforcement of the rules, the ready acquiescence of nearly everybody to those regulations, the summary but passionless ejectment of any boy or youth who did not abide by them. The elegant treatment of the ladies, the manly virtue of the attendants, were all wonderful to behold. In 1843, circus and entertainment mogul P.T. Barnum opened his New York Museum of Natural History and Curiosities. Step right up and see the magnificent egress. This included the famous General Tom Thumb, wax figurines of various historical creatures, and amongst all of these spectaculars was one particular exhibit, the Magnificent Egress. Barnum, <laughs> annoyed with how long his customers would gawk, decided to play a little trick on them. Egress means exit, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Step right up and see the magnificent egress. Yes, sir, you right there. Ah, oh, but bless me, the circus is no place to think. Though I do wish those men's heads were almost as well trained as their heels. Mm -hmm. It is a pity we admit that the education of any man should be confined to his brains. The circus performer is the other half of a college professor. The perfect man is not just the professor's brains. It's also a good deal of the performer's life. <laughs> greatest fete ever exhibited in Australia. Burton and Calhoun challenged, challenged Jonathan's National Circus to find who was the best circus in Australia. 1,800 Adelaideans were in attendance and it was declared a success. Never had anyone beheld so many tests of daring and agility. But in 1874, the great American circus toured Australia on a steamboat. Their popularity forced the other circuses to take on American attributes. The old circus was shipwrecked. We can relate. <laughs> <laughs> there were horses everywhere. They were being ridden by men, not as you would expect. Some were ridden with one foot. Others were driving two horses, one foot on each. The hippo drama became standard practice in the circus after its introduction in England. Tell me, sir, what is this picture about? Ah, yes, for sure I will tell you. We are to have a fine show here in a few days with a great many horses who will do almost anything they are told to do. How do you train them so well? Well, he whips me and treats me cruelly. <laughs> How can you do such a thing? Well, circus men are generally idle and foolish people. 
they go about making their livings off of people who can't afford to spend it so foolishly. There's a lot of drinking and gambling. It is a bad thing for the village when the circus is in town. Now, we said that the horses will do almost anything they are told to do. Even math? Even math. Oh. Go ahead, give it an addition problem. Mm, two plus two. Two plus two, really? Mm. You're going too easy on the fella. Well, you heard him. Two plus two. Amazing! Now, let's break up the stakes. Multiplication. Would anyone in the audience, anyone at all, like to give our horse in a multiplication problem? Come on. Nine times three. Excuse me? Nine times three. Nine times three. <laughs> Time is like a circus, always packing up and moving along. The circus arrives without expectation. It's not there one day, and then the next simply arrives. Circus men are generally idle and worthless people who make their livings off of taking money from those who cannot afford to spend it so foolishly. Everybody went to the circus. Race, creed, uh, class, everybody. The circus was the great humanizer. Anyone could understand it. Is that the stage light? Is that the crowd? Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for. Tonight, Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the greatest spectacular ever seen. Tonight, we, the, we present the great scientific experiment of man's potential. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is none other than Adam and Eve's grand extravaganza. Every line, every word, every rib will be perfect. We, tonight, we have humanity on the stage. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the, the carnival booth is eternal. 